Hey guys, today we'll be looking at Stockholm Tunnel Bana per Mind Test. Mind Test is a game that is very similar to Minecraft, but instead of being developed in Sweden and cost you a lot of money, it's developed in Finland, cost you no money, and it doesn't require any API to install mods. It's very easy to install mods. So this is the central station of Stockholm, known as Tiersentralen. In this mind test world, I incorporated the new Stockholm city station for the commuter trains or pendulum talk in Swedish into the tunnel bond station. In here it's denoted as platform 7, 8, 9 and 10, which corresponds to the real life platforms 1, 2, 3, 4 of Stockholm city station. So, platform 4 for the red line and platform 1 for the green line. And this is platform 2 for the green line to Sörde Ort, and platform 3 for the red line to Robsten or Mörby Centrum. This one is the blue line platform. And we go up. This platform is for southbound commuter trains to some kind of places like Nunesham and this one is for northbound ones which goes to Uppsala or Arlanda and I constructed a housing estate near the station called Highland Estate though this floor isn't developed yet and we have 13 flats on this floor. It's somehow inspired by a photo that I saw on Instagram. There's a railway going f directly through the middle of a house. And now we will go back to the stations. So I'm about to put a cart onto the tracks of Platform 2, which is heading towards the southern suburbs of Stockholm, Sweden, which um, includes, well, let me remember, Farsta Strand and Kravnek. Now we're going to Gamlestan Station, or Old Town Station as it is written here. In this mind test world, I will write all the station names in English because it's literally impossible to write Swedish names onto the signs because the signs mod does not support any special Swedish characters like O, A, and Ö. And it will be quite inconsistent if I use platform and the Swedish name at the same time, so... I opted for the English literal translations sometimes, but sometimes I will just come up with other English names that I find suitable to this, to the surroundings of the station in the world, not in real life, of course. So this is Gamla Stan, though the station is very high above the ground. There is literally some kind of 30 or 20 something meters vertical distance between the ground and the station. So we're moving on to another station. Nesta Slussen. But it's not called Slussen here. It's called Riverside. Why? Because um, Slussen means lock in Swedish. But it would be very strange if we name a station lock in English. Very strange.
So I decided to come up with the name Riverside instead because it lies near a river. And here's the interchange passageway. We can change to South Kuebanan. This is the station entrance. And we are going for Sad Hun. <laughs> well, actually not because the tracks haven't been completed yet, but first let us go to Henriksdal. So these are the platforms of Henriksdal station. And I decided to come up with an English name for that station. Henry's Valley. Right now, in the real life, Henriksdal is the terminus for Sauerbahnen. Because, as I know, there is a reconstruction project in Slusen, which may take almost, like, like from now, seven or eight years to complete, and then it will be a long time for the Stockholm residents to wait until Sauerbahnen gets into Slusen once again. One fun fact about Sauerbahnen is that, well, it has a very long history, but it's just because of that. It has only one track when it opened, but now it seems that Stockholm has been speeding up efforts to make Sauerbrunnen a two, two-track railway, if that's possible at all. But I, but at least I know that they've done it in some parts, like from Henriksdal to. Well, we don't have double track in Sikla. Yes, and now we go back to Slussen, and we go back to the green line of the tunnel bana. So now. We'll go to some other stations in Södermalm. This one is Metforia Platsen Station, or in English, Citizens Square Station. As I know, Metforia Platsen in real life is a quite popular place, or a square that has many people attracted in the weekends. But here is just an undeveloped forest with a tower inside. And then we go on to the next station. Nesta Skanstul. The name for the station that I gave in this world is called Scandinavian Gate because Scan Scandinavian perhaps it means but I'm not very sure about that and Tull in Swedish means tall and that's because in Skanstull and Hornstull which is on the red line used to be tall stations that ask you to pay money if you want to get into or leave certain malm. So now we go back, we go up north.
If you have a sharp eye, you'll notice that the pedal torque tracks are not yet complete, as on the left. Currently, I haven't started construction on Uden Plan yet, because stations in Normal have very well complex geographic locations, and so are the tracks. Now, this is Ostermann's torque station. On the red line, and we go back to Tears and Tarlan. Yes, and obviously the green line hasn't extended to her tour yet. Perhaps I'll do it someday. In my next video, perhaps, but I'm still considering it. We can look down to the blue line platform down here. Yes, and now we go to the blue line. We'll be going west first. Next, Rod Hulset. Rod Hulset is the seat to the District Court of Stockholm, or what we call in Swedish is called the Stockholm's Tingsrätt. Yes, and far away, this is the unfinished Friedhelm's Plan station, and we go up. This is the court building that I'm currently constructing on, but it doesn't resemble the Swedish one, of course. That one is classical, but I made it out of a cave. Now we move east. And here we are, back to Tiersen Trollen. And now we move on to Kungsträts Gården. Yes, and now we move on. Yes, but somebody will ask, wait, isn't Kunstrad's score then the terminus of blue line? Well, I will answer it, yes for now, but this is a track that I constructed for the extension of the blue line to to Söder Malm and Söder Ort. But this track is fairly long compared to the others. And this track, I think, in real life will commence in 2026. Nesta Sofia. The name of the station is called Sofia. When we walk out onto the ground level, we can see Skans Tull from a long distance. And we can also quite see Meporia Platzen, though it's quite blocked by the leaves of the pine trees. But this time I'm not gonna cross the river. Now we go down to Sofia station. And now let's see how many seconds do we need to get from Sofia to Kunstrad Gordon.
Yes, and it took a very, quite a very long time, like forty seconds to get from Sofia to Kunstar's goal. Then, but it takes less than ten seconds to go from Kunstar's goal then to Tyson Trollen. So that's all for my video today. Tag or Kado.